say you want a large slice of pizza, and you're offered either a slice of pizza that is one-eighth the size of the pizza or two-eighths the size of the pizza. Well, you can easily look at the two slices and see that two-eighths is larger than one-eighth. Well, let's figure out how to do the same thing, but mathematically. Okay, let's take a look at this first example. We have three-fourths and five-eighths. Which is larger? Well, it's hard to tell. But let's rename the fractions so that we can com easily compare them. And we'll do this by finding a common denominator. The common denominator of four and eight is eight. So, four goes into eight two times, so I'm going to multiply the denominator. Four times two is eight. And the numerator, three times two, which is six. And then with five-eighths, eight goes into eight one time, and five, go, five times one is five. So we have six-eighths and five-eighths. Now I have a common denominator, so it's easy to tell that six-eighths is going to be larger than five-eighths. So three-fourths is larger than five-eighths. What about these two fractions? Two-thirds and three-fourths, which is larger? Just by looking at them, it's kind of hard to tell. So let's find a common denominator. The common denominator of 3 and 4 is 12. So now, 3 goes into 12 four times. So 3 times 4 is 12. And then 2 times 4 is 8. Now on the other side, 4 goes into 12 three times. So 4 times 3 is 12. And then 3 times 3 is 9. So now, since they are renamed, it's easy to tell which fraction is larger. 9 twelfths is larger than 8 twelfths. So 3 fourths is larger than 2 thirds. Which fraction is larger? 1 third or 2 fifths? Well, you know, we're going to rename the fraction so that we have the same denominator. So, common denominator of 5 and 3 is 15. 3 goes into 15 five times, so 3 times 5 is 15. 1 times 5 is 5, so we have 5 15. And now, 5 goes into 15 three times. 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 3 is 6. So, 6 fifteenths is larger than 5 fifteenths. So 2 fifths is larger than 1 third. Okay, how about 8 tenths and 4 fifths? Well, again, I need to rename the fractions. Okay, the common denominator of 10 and 5 is 10. So 10 goes into 10 one time, so 10 times 1 is 10, 8 times 1 is 8. Now, on the other side, 5 goes into 10 two times, so 5 times 2 is 10, 4 times 2 is 8. So now we have two fractions with a common denominator, but you will notice that these two fractions are equal. They're actually equivalent fractions. So 8 tenths is equal to 4 fifths. Now we have 7 eighths and three-fourths. Again, I can't just look at them and see which fraction is larger. So I'm going to find a common denominator. The common denominator of eight and four is eight. So eight goes into eight one time. So eight times one is eight. Seven times one is seven. Now four goes into eight two times. So I'm going to multiply four times two is eight, and three times two, which is six, I now have a common denominator, and I can easily tell that 7 eighths is larger than 6 eighths. So 7 eighths is larger than 3 fourths. So in summary, you can compare two fractions. First, if there's not a common denominator, you can rename the fractions with a common denominator. Once they are renamed, all you need to do is look at the top number, the numerator, and the fraction with the larger numerator will be the larger fraction. Hope this was helpful.